Okay, moving on to quality of introduction and conclusion. In order to get your 20 points for that, your introduction and conclusion both need to be text-free. Now, it doesn't say memorized, it just says text-free. The reason it doesn't say memorized is that I don't expect you to write down and say exactly the words that you plan to say in your introduction or conclusion. However, when you give the introduction and the conclusion, you should not have to look at the text that you have there. So you should have practiced your introduction and your conclusion sufficiently that you can say each of them without having to look at your text. When are you most likely to be nervous in a speech? Which part? In the middle. The middle? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Okay, most of you are saying the start. I think for most people it's at the start. Because here you are and you see all these eyes out here. Okay. <laughs> well, you can go into a spiral on the basis of the beginning of your speech. If you come up and know what you're going to say in your introduction, can say it with authority and appear to be confident, even if your stomach is churning, then you can go into a positive spiral. The, your audience is going to note what you say at the beginning. They're going to feel good. They're going to say, oh, this is somebody who's got something important to say. So Lynn over there, who's looking down at her page, will notice that other people are looking at the speaker. She will look up. I will see that she's looking up. I will think to myself, ah, I'm connecting with people. They are resonating with what I have to say. So I will become more confident. My gestures will become better. My voice will become louder and more authoritative. And I will go up and up toward <coughs> joy and ecstasy. However, if I come in and have the middle of my speech pretty well prepared, but I don't know what to do in the introduction, I'm tentative, reticent, quiet, then even though Erica is predisposed to be interested in what I have to say, and Steve is also willing to give me the benefit of the doubt, if I start out that way, pretty soon Unique and Mike and Ashe are going to be fiddling with their papers. I will notice that and think to myself, well, this isn't going well. So I will begin to hunch over and become more and more quiet. Then I will lose Steve and Erica's attention too, to the point that everybody is not interested. I will go down in a spiral to the pits of despond. Thus, in order to get your points and in order to get your audience, your introduction needs to be text-free. Your conclusion needs to be text-free. You should know with a 99% degree of certainty what the first sounds are going to be that come out of your mouth when you get to the lecture. You should know with a 99% degree of certainty what the last sounds are going to be when you conclude your speech. Those first sounds should not be meaningless or weak. They need to be certain and strong. All right, so your introduction and conclusion need to be 100% text-free. The introduction has three purposes. It needs to grab people's attention, preview the subject, and list the main points of the speech. The conclusion needs to review and summarize. You remember that tell them what you told them? In your conclusion, you need to repeat your main points. In writing, we don't always do this. In conversation, we never do this. If Chris and Tara meet each other Monday morning in the cafeteria, and Tara says, well, Chris, how was your weekend? Chris will not say, let me tell you about the three points of my weekend. There was Saturday morning when I went to the zoo. There was Saturday evening when I went to the club. And there was Sunday morning when I made it to church. And now that I've told you about Friday evening, Saturday morning, and Sunday morning, you know what kind of weekend I had. We don't do that in writing or in speaking. But in public speaking, you need to do that. So your conclusion needs to restate the main points. It needs to end with what I would call a clincher, something that clinches your message, that stays with your audience. Now, let me turn that off. When you're